In the midst of the Meitei and Kuki conflict, the question arises, who is right? The answer to this query is not a simple one, as it delves into a complex web of historical, cultural and socio-political factors. To truly understand the roots of this conflict, we must first examine the historical context. The Meitei and Kuki communities both have a rich history in the region. The Meitei's trace their lineage back to the ancient Manipuri kingdom, while the Kukis have inhabited the hills of Manipur for centuries. Over time, disputes arose over land ownership and territorial boundaries, creating tension between the two communities. Cultural differences also play a significant role in the conflict. The Mai Tais have their distinct language, art, and religious practices, while the Kukis have their own unique traditions and beliefs. These differences, though enriching the diversity of the region, have also contributed to a sense of otherness and mistrust among the communities. Furthermore, the socio-political dynamics further fuel the conflict. The struggle for political power and resources often exacerbates the tension and animosity between the Mai Tais and Kukis. Political parties and leaders may exploit this divide for their own benefit, deepening the rift between the two communities. To determine who is right in this conflict is an oversimplification of the issue at hand. Any attempt to assign blame solely to one side would be unjust. Both the Meitais and Kukas have valid concerns, grievances, and aspirations. The route to resolution lies in recognizing the inherent worth, dignity, and rights of both communities. Instead of prioritizing one community over the other, a more sustainable approach would involve fostering dialogue, empathy, and understanding. By acknowledging the historical, cultural, and political complexities, Stakeholders can work towards finding common ground and seeking solutions that benefit all. In conclusion, the question of who is right in the Meitei and Kuki conflict cannot be answered in absolutes. The conflict requires a holistic understanding, taking into account the historical, cultural, and socio-political factors. By recognizing the value of both communities and engaging in constructive dialogue, a path towards reconciliation and lasting peace can be forged.